Zhao Hai. Members, may I call to order the first meeting of the housing panel for 2013-14 uh, session. The first thing on the agenda is to elect a chairman. According to ROP 76, a member who is the chairman or deputy chairman of a government advisory body in respect of matters which a panel considers to be directly related to the terms of reference of the panel shall not be the chairman or deputy chairman of the panel. And uh, ROP 777 states that a member shall not be the chairman or deputy chairman of more than one panel at the same time. According to the uh, procedures laid down in House Rule 22 and Appendix 4, I will now start the nomination procedures. A proper nomination uh, should have one mover and one seconder. And uh, the uh, nominated member must also accept the nominations first. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Ip Kok Him, I nominate Mr. Wong Kok Hing. Any seconder? Mr. Kok Waker, Ms. May Goon, I accept the nomination. In view of that, I will invite the Deputy Chairman, Mr. KK Fung, to take over. All right. Any other nomination, please? If not, then the, uh, the nomination is closed, and Mr. Wong Kok Heng is elected ipsi facto. Over to you, Mr. Wong. Thank you. And uh, the uh, following uh, step is to elect a deputy chairman. Any nominations, please? Mr. K.K. Fung, uh, I nominate Mr. Wu Chi Wai, but he is absent. He's not yet here. Mr. Fung, do you know if Mr. Wu accepts the nomination? I believe so. I have uh, talked with him for a while. Any seconder, please? Seconder from any chairman. Mr. Bramshek and um, Dr. Joseph Lee, seconds. Any other nominations, please? Any other nominations, please? If not, then Mr. Wu Chi Wai elected Deputy Chairman of the meeting of the panel. Thank you, Mr. Fung. Members, as you can see, in the last session, we usually met at 2.30 on the first Monday of each month. Do we agree that we continue with uh, the schedule of last session? Shall we use the same slot? No objection? Thank you. If members are uh, agreeable, uh, we will work out the schedule of our meetings according to that slot. And in February and June for 2014, there will be a change in meeting dates for February. It will have to be changed to the 10th of February at 8.30 because uh, the 3rd of February is a public holiday. Any objection, please? All right, agreed. And then the 2nd of June again is a public holiday. I suggest that we move it to the 3rd of June, Tuesday, 4.30. Agreeable? No objection? Thank you. So uh, that's the schedule of meetings. Following on, Chairman, Chairman, I, I don't, I like to know whether uh, for the new slots, uh, they won't clash with other meetings. 
I believe the Secretariat has checked for us. All right. So uh, these dates will not clash with other meetings. Yes, I believe so. All right. Agenda for our next regular meeting. Please uh, refer to CBE 1 21 slash 1314 bracket 01 and also uh, CB and also uh, the appendix to uh, the paper. Mr. Wu Chi Wai, Mr. Wu, uh, please uh, take your seat here because you've been elected deputy chairman. Please be seated. Oh, I apologize. The next regular meeting is scheduled for the 4th of November at 2.30. The administration has the following proposals for us. Number one, analysis of housing situation of waiting list applicants as at in June 2013. Second, head 711 item PWP number B742CL, main engineering infrastructure in association with the proposed developments at Area 56 in Tongchong. Do we all agree with the two proposals from the administration? Besides, do you have any suggestions for our outstanding list so that I can discuss with the Secretary uh, together with the Deputy Chairman? Mr. Albert Chen, can we ask the Housing Authority to brief us on the uh, progress of uh, application for PRH and also a situation of uh, overcrowded households. There are a few categories. Well, all of a sudden, I can't think of uh, the terminology, right terminology. Um, uh, people, well, all right, uh, the um, single parent, the families and uh, rehousing arrangements, so on and so forth. That can surely be done. Mr. Chen will discuss with the administration. Mr. James Tian, um, Mr. Michael Tian. I think uh, we uh, last time we discussed the uh, well of household policy. I think uh, it is under review, and we'd like to know whether the uh, asset limits are already um, out of sub with the market. Since uh, Mr. Tian has uh, this proposal, we will include it in our list of outstanding items. Any other proposals, please? Dr. Fernando Zhang. Uh, the Landlord and Tenant Consolidation Ordinance, that is the proposal uh, on rent control. We want to discuss it as soon as possible since uh, rents are so high. And of course, the government is uh, not very proactive. Still, we need to discuss this. And I want to convene an open hearing to uh, receive views from members of the public. All right, we can put it on the agenda. Or rather, I, I will put it on the uh, list of outstanding items. I think uh, in the LTHS subcommittee, we discussed this. Mr. Michael Tian. Policy on interim housing. This is not something I have in mind. Rather, PRH cannot be built quickly enough to meet the demand. And some people out there are saying perhaps in urban areas we should have transitional housing to accommodate people waiting for PRH. Perhaps uh, we can ask a URA to provide such flats by redevelopment. All right. Not the transitional type of interim housing. Ms. Tian, we will uh, include this on the uh, list. Mr. Leung Yu Chong, Chairman, in Along Pin and Shaping Wai, uh, they will be demolished soon. As a result, there will be fewer flats. Well, flats affected uh, by redevelopment in future will be affected. 
Does the government have any uh, long-term policy for uh, the provision of interim or transitional housing? Oh. I think we need to take up interim housing because people who are divorced have to go to interim housing. If the number is going to get smaller, what are we going to do? Thank you for that proposal. We'll put that into the list. Actually, last year we followed up on the poor design in interim housing. It is very much overcrowded and people who are wheelchair bound cannot even turn around in the house. Any other items that you would like to propose? If not, the clerk will record all these and together with the deputy chairman will take these up with the secretary. If there is nothing else, we go to AOB. Under AOB, we have the LTHS subcommittee. As you know, last year we set up the Long-Term Housing Strategy subcommittee. It was chaired by me. In the meeting on the 27th of September, the subcommittee agreed that it should carry on with unfinished work or business. As you know, the administration released a consultation paper in September and the subcommittee would have to follow up on the consultation paper. The subcommittee should discuss the consultation paper and also should conduct public hearings. Therefore, the subcommittee will continue its work in this year. If members agree, the clerk will invite members who are not members of the subcommittee to invite members to join the subcommittee. You agree? Okay, if you agree, the clerk will do that uh, to see whether you have uh, any interest in joining. And also whether the subcommittee should elect a new chairman. I think that will be decided by the subcommittee at its meeting. You agree? Okay, if there is no objection, I take that uh, silence means consent. If there is nothing else from members, the meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much.